Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. My original idea for this video was to go on AliExpress and attempt to translate comments and Q&A entries there. However, it seems like translation tools have gotten better since the last time I visited AliExpress, which is kind of sad. But fear not, there was plenty of entertainment to be had. So instead of translating these, Let's just see what's there. Let us begin. So the first watch that we'll be looking at is a 2022 minimalist watch. This watch has a great looking dial on it. Overall, it looks pretty cool, kind of bauhaus -y. Super minimalist, as the name would imply. It comes on what appears to be a mesh bracelet, but for $3, it might just be plastic painted to look like mesh. Who knows? But I like the dial and I like the handset on this. And one of the comments on this watch is, very nice clock. Only the strap very small, but everything very beautiful. I mean, who cares if it actually fits on your wrist, as long as the clock looks beautiful. And speaking of clock versus watches, I feel like in the past, when I've done similar exercises to this one, I kept hearing straps being referred to as belts. That is so amazing. I love it. I may have to try to remember that. Start calling watch straps belts. So cool. Another one reads, really very beautiful luxury. Luxury? At $3? I don't know about that. I mean, let's look at the definition of luxury. Luxury, great comfort, especially as provided by expensive and beautiful things. And granted, the dial on this watch looks good, the hands look good, but it is definitely not expensive and I'm not sure just how beautiful it is. I feel like a $3 watch is gonna look like a $3 watch, which is not pretty. The next comment on this watch reads, the watch is good, came whole and well packed, the strap is hard, but I shoot the star in one joint from the seller. The strap is not 18 millimeters, he is 20 millimeters. I especially ordered a watch strap for 18 in a set, and it is damn small, and the watch is dangling on another strap. Here is a direct fat minus to the seller for this, and everything is fine. That was a great comment. And I mean, I too love it when a watch arrives whole. I also appreciate describing the strap as hard, I mean, no one wants a hard strap when they could get a stiff strap. And this should totally be a thing. I am no longer going to subtract a star from a seller. I'm totally going to shoot the star in one joint from the seller. Also, I agree, dangling watches is very bad. And true, listing the lug to lug width incorrectly, that's not cool. So yeah, this seller for sure is getting a fat minus for this one. The next comment reads, Arrived just in time and very nice. The quality matches the price, but looks too good. Elegant. I love that it arrived on time. This person is definitely on a tight schedule. And I'm not sure if it's a compliment or an insult when they say that the quality matches the price. This watch is only $3. Uh oh, maybe it was a compliment because it's too good and elegant. Another comment on this watch reads, the watch looks very good, although I don't know, it's not the seller's fault. So this commenter gave the watch five out of five stars. And I love how they say that the watch is great, but they don't know it's not the seller's fault. What is not? I don't know what the problem is. But at least, whatever is wrong, isn't the seller's fault. Another comment I found reads, 
It's a beautiful watch, but it's not working. The time indicators don't move, and there's no particular ticking sound like by other digital watches. I probably, there is no battery in it, or the battery is out of power. Kindly request a solution for this. Ticking is important in digital watches. I wonder if the buyer just hasn't removed the little plastic tab that holds the crown out just far enough to ensure that it's not using up battery life while it's sitting on the shelves in the Ali Wonka luxury watch factory. Hopefully that's the case. I found another commenter who's in a hurry. This comment reads, Very nice watch, packaged nicely, reached in time. Thankfully, the watch got there in time. That's good. And I found this comment on the watch for a list. Uh-oh, there's a two-star comment. And it reads, Came on time, the watch itself stands. I don't know the reason yet, whether there is a battery. The site does not indicate this. Or it is already broken. Ordered two models, both stand. Fortunately, this person did figure out that there's a little plastic tab you have to pull out, so that's good. And the commenter makes a great point. If the watch is not running, or walking, the watch is standing. Oh boy, next we have a one-star comment, and this one reads, Very bad Ami. Nothing has come to me, and he says that he buys complete and Ami, they never told me that, it came wrong, or someone gave it to him, and he was not there and he stayed. They never gave me my order. So I'm not sure who Ami is. Maybe a roommate or something? And I feel like that might be the mysterious he, him throughout this comment. But someone gave it to him? Hmm. And he wasn't there, he stayed? This is a problem. Oh, we have another one star comment. The item was... Whatever that word is? But strip started take out pieces iron. All garment. Currently other... Try correspondence with the seller, not successful, rule. And is even not rule. For short product horror, valet, horror, really, really don't recommend to buy. Okay, when your watch's strip starts taking out pieces of iron, that's a problem. And if it's all garment? When your seller is not successful, rule, or not even rule, that is also a problem. And on top of all of that, is the short product horror, valet horror? This is so bad. Yeah, I'd be giving it a one star also. I do not recommend. There's another one star comment, and this one is amazing. It simply reads, bad. I love it. That's all you need to say. This comment is perfect. This is the winner comment. This was bad. I feel like this should be my response whenever there's something terrible that I need to comment on. I'm just gonna say bad. Okay, now hold up just a second. Look at the dial on this watch. That is so amazing looking. In fact, this entire watch is absolutely brilliant looking. I would love to have one of these in my collection, except that it's 99 cents. Man, I wish that this watch was decent, because it looks so cool. I've never seen a dial quite like that. It is just bauhaus and awesome. Why couldn't it be like $200 or something? Yeah, sad. The next watch's comments that we're looking at is a super fancy looking $16 watch. And the first comment reads, Today, 1508 2023, received it and I hardly occupy it, but it looks very beautiful and it looks good quality. I recommend the seller and his products. I mean, I hear you. This watch is only 43 millimeters. That is not a whole lot of room to occupy it. And even if he could, that would just take the tiny house thing way too far. Ridiculous. But hey, if he can't live in it, at least it's beautiful. Another comment reads, 
Very satisfied with the purchase, the handle fits perfectly. All dials of the watch face work. Now I'm a fan of League. Liege? League? Liga? Oh, this watch has a handle. That complication is new to me. And I wonder what it is that that handle fits so perfectly. I'm glad the subdials actually do stuff. I mean, for this price, you just don't know. Yeah, functional subdials on AliExpress is not a given. Next, we're looking at an octagonal shaped watch with some great black and white contrast to it. It has a white dial, black case, black hands. The watch looks pretty cool for $2. There's a three star comment on this watch and it reads, I received two glass broken watches. While I ordered three watches from the store, I think the packaging was third class. That's why the glass of the watches were broken. Very disappointing. Why would you order glass broken watches? Oh, ah. Uh, I mean, when was the last time you shipped something for less than $2? This is AliExpress and they have to make some money. For that price, I'm surprised it shipped even third class. As opposed to factory children running it to you on foot. Or carrier pigeon. And the last watch we're looking at is a tank style watch. And for 99 cents, it looks surprisingly like a watch. It even has hands and a means of strapping it to your wrist. I think it has a crystal. It definitely has a dial. I'm assuming there's a movement inside it that might do something, but you can't get any of these individual parts for 99 cents. The magic of the Ali Wonka Luxury Watch Factory. C'est incroyable. One of the comments on this watch reads, Chic Watch Backpack. Did this watch come with a backpack? What is a watch backpack? Is it really chic though? Luxury. Less than a dollar luxury. AliExpress is hitting dollar stores, buying watches there and flipping them. Uh, the sub-dollar flipper market. The worst. Another comment on this watch reads, Terrible quality product, painted strap, not flexible at all, and the paint comes off instantaneously. The battery is dead after seven minutes of starting to use it. Avoid. Oh, straps on these watches are painted, not dyed? That's crazy. I'll bet they're literally cardboard. Leather embossed cardboard. The watch has one meter of water resistance, the strap has zero. If you sweat too much, the strap turns into mushy paper pulp. Holy cup half empty world view. I mean, this is a sub dollar watch and it performed for seven minutes. I feel like that's an accomplishment. I mean, you didn't get a dud. You got a top tier sub $1 watch. Another comment reads, The watch is very nice because the machine does not work. Is delayed more than 10 minutes a day, can't carry. I am so confused right now. So the watch doesn't work and that's why it's very nice? And because it doesn't work, you can't carry? Hmm. I'm lost. And the last comment I have is a one star comment. And this one reads, the delivery man has not left this item in the mailbox. Although we were on the phone where he left it in the mailbox, the delivery company you use are thieves. They keep the items and tell you that they have left it in the mailbox, but it is a lie. I don't buy you anything else. I don't want my scoundrels stolen. The delivery man has not deposited it in the mailbox as promised by phone. Must have kept the item. I mean, he's a professional thief. That is terrible when your watch is marked delivery and it's not actually there. But do you really think the mailman is stealing $1 watches? I feel like that's a very inefficient way of making a living as a thief. He did say he was a professional thief. I mean, maybe he steals thousands of watches. If you really want a $1 watch, maybe just try again. I mean, it's only a dollar. But I do agree, 
I also do not like my scoundrels stolen. So there you have it, some very entertaining comments on AliExpress. Thanks for watching. Thank you.